What's up guys, in this video we're going to be installing a status line for NeoVim. Um, if you know anything about status lines for NeoVim, then you know that there's only really two in the game right now. There is airline and light line for the most part. I'm sure there's other ones, but these are the big ones, right? Um, a lot of people have strong opinions about this stuff, but they probably shouldn't. Um, in this video we're going to be installing airline. In another video for everybody else, I will install Lightline, and then maybe later on I'll even install some of the more obscure ones. So let's begin here. Um, as always, all of the commands that I run will be in my blog, um, and I'll leave a link in the description. So let's first add the following to plugins.vim. So let's open up plugins.vim. If you have not been following along with the videos, you can still do all of this. Um, there's really not much difference. You're just going to be adding this configuration here. Um, but if you have been following along, then you know that we keep our plugins here, our theme related stuff here, our plug config here. So any big plugin that does anything um, substantial we put in our plug config. Our general stuff in our general, our general settings in general, and keys and keys, right? So let's begin with Vimplug. So Vimplug plugins, and we have a spot for status line here. So we'll take these and put them in. A lot of um, a lot of themes anymore come with uh, airline kind of built into the theme. So you don't always need this guy here, the airlines theme, and you can find out whether or not you need it. If you find that you don't need it, well, then you can uninstall it. But I'm just putting it in there uh, for someone who might want it. So now what we'll do is reopen this and it should auto install. Then what we'll do is take this and we will create a file in themes for airline. Let's get out of there. Let's copy and paste this in. And now let's open up that file. So themes airline.vim And then I'll go over what some of this config does. So this enables the tab line at the top. Um, the tab line at the top, we have a relatively simple tab line at the top right now. But you'll see that it's a little bit more substantial when we use airlines tab line. Um, I, you'll see a lot of people with like the arrows um, in, their, in their line. And actually, you can see the line right here. It already found it, right? Um, you'll see a lot of people with like arrows. Um, if you look here uh, at the end, and that's like with the power line fonts or anything, any font that um, pr like provides that, that character. I don't really like those that much, so I'm not going to be putting them in this config. But if you really want them, um, you can install these fonts down here at the bottom, the airline or the power line fonts. There's also other fonts that um, support it as well. Like I know like the hack fonts or if you've seen um, like the nerd hack fonts. I'll look those up really fast. Nerd hack fonts and yeah this stuff here if you look at this repo it's like the this repo will it generally give you all like the fonts that you want um, for showing things like that so maybe I'll leave the link in the description for this as well but you can also just install this uh, but like I said I'm gonna be leaving those completely empty just because I think it looks a little cleaner Anyway, so enabling the powerline fonts, uh, you will want to enable some of them. Like I think, like you get this little hamburger guy right here. Uh, we just won't have the arrows because we're turning off the separators here. Um, you can switch your theme. So mine's one dark. Um, even though one dark's theme is built into the actual theme, I just set it here anyway, just because why not? Um, this is to make sure that the tab line shows, the show tab line. Now I have this in my general settings, but I figured I would show this anyway because if you don't set this to two, then your tab line up here will not show. And then also this should stop like you seeing, like we're in visual mode right now, you shouldn't see visual mode down here in like this, uh, this little buffer space right there. So we'll save that. And now we'll just source this in init.vim. And if you know how we've been doing things throughout the series, you know that init.vim is only for sourcing different configurations. So actually we'll put this with the themes section. We'll save, we'll reopen, I guess, init.vim. 
And now you'll see really the only thing that changed because this was kind of included as soon as we installed Airline was this at the top uh, being added, this tab line at the top. And so we can open up a few more files. What I'm going to do is just type GF on top of these files. So we'll do GF. All right. And now we can, pressing tab, um, if you've been following along with like my key map and all that kind of stuff. So pressing tab just moves you in between tabs, right? And then we can do another one, I guess. And now we have three open and four and so on and so forth, right? That's what that looks like. So you'll see other things too, like uh, where you are in the file. So right now we are, if we were at the top, we're at 2% down in the file and all the way to 100, right? Then there's also what line you're on. So you see this two here. This two is the line that I'm on uh, like vertically. And then the one to the right of that, the 74 is I'm 74 lines over. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I think that's really all you should care about right now for this basic install. You'll notice as we install more plugins in the future, like Git related plugins and all that kind of stuff, you'll notice that this bar will start filling up with more information. Um, so we'll quit out of this. And I think for this video, that's about it. There's not much more. If you want to follow the development, oh yeah, also I linked um, the airline themes and airline in the description at the bottom here. And if you want to follow the development of this current iteration that I'm working on of this Vim config, you can check it out here on my GitHub. It's under NVim. And you can watch me kind of just work on it um, in real time. And so make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.